Hello everyone. Um, how to make publication? This is especially a very valid question for the young scholars. Today I'm glad to have Dr. Alexander Galas in this interview. Alexander Galas is an assistant professor in the Department of Political Science, University of Kassel and one of the editors of Global Labour Journal. He, is, he has a PhD in sociology uh, from the University of Lancaster. Alex, I'm really glad to have you here. Yeah, thanks so much for inviting me. I'm really excited about this and about trying out this uh, interesting format. So, um, yeah, thank you. Well, we are going to talk about publication strategies today. Um, well, of course, our aim, our focus is on academic publications. The first question is then, what is actually academic publication? And perhaps the answer will also shed light on the question of what is not academic. Yeah, of course, um, an important question. So when we do research, we try to find out something about the social world. And we try to do so through um, systematic um, reasoning on the one hand and on the other hand through observations. Um, and what I'm going to talk about here is obviously up, um, very much the social sciences and it applies to the social sciences. I'm not so much an expert on the natural sciences and um, the humanities when it comes to academic publishing, but in most of the papers in the social sciences um, um, we have some sort of a conceptualization, a systematic development of concepts, a theory, a theoretical framework. We use certain methods and we apply those methods to data. And that's visible um, in academic papers. Um, obviously also we aim for coherence and consistency. Um, so. We don't claim one thing on page two and then say the opposite on page 10. Um, and we try to justify claims systematically. We don't just say I believe or my hunch is this and that, um, but try to produce evidence. When we look at the form of um, academic papers um, in the social sciences, what is quite striking is obviously that they're references and that there is a bibliography and through that we can very quickly identify them. Usually they are published in specialist publications and we're going to talk about the different um, publication types later on I think. Um, and uh, what is also important is that um, academic papers go through fairly rigor rigorous processes of quality control. Um, it's also something we can talk about um, in more detail uh, later on, but uh, the most important thing here is that um, when I'm an author, colleagues of mine read what I've written very, very thoroughly and check whether there are any problems or whether I need to make any revisions, amendments, add anything. Um, since you've been asking about differences to um, other types of publication, I guess the uh, most typical comp uh, a publication we com can compare academic publications to is journalistic publications. Well, for a start, they don't usually have references. Usually there's a separation that doesn't exist um, in, the, in the social sciences between factual news articles that simply report on what's going on and opinion pieces. Opinion pieces talk about um, you know, what the authors believe um, um, and, and, and usually those op opinion pieces aren't as systematic in their reasoning, don't use evidence to the same degree, um, are a lot looser in terms of um, their format. But here the question is, um, you refer to journals article, but as far as I know, um, edited books or book chapters, is also cons they are also considered as academic publication, right? Yeah, I think that's important to bear in mind. There's a whole range of different academic publications um, and they serve different pu purposes. So you mentioned the journal article. There are academic journals. Their specific aim is to publish 
academic research. Um, so a very, very common form of um, academic uh, publication is the journal article. Um, and you already mentioned the Global Labour Journal. I'm one of the editors. I, I, I believe that, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I'm sitting here is also because I'm very, very much acquainted with this type of work. The Global Labour Journal is, um, is a journal that is really looking at labour relations around the world and tries and, and, and labour movement and uh, labour movement and tries to, to find out what's going on there. But then there are also research monographs, so books um, on one topic. Um, um, there are edited volumes, usually those are also on one topic, but um, different authors um, um, supply different chapters. So we have a whole range of different authors writing about a similar topic from the same ang uh, from a similar angle, or um, they cover different aspects of that topic. So there's a close connection between the chapters. That's not necessarily the case in a journal. Um, and um, then um, there are also book reviews. So people r r write reviews of um, other people's work. Um, there are handbooks or encyclopedias that cover in a very systematic fashion a, uh, a bigger field or a specific approach and you have different entries. It's, it's like um, um, an encyclopedia quite often. Um, and last but not least, working papers. Working papers are um, um, publications that are very quick. Um, people can put out research results very quickly. Um, quite often the um, quality control is not as rigorous because it's seen as a first stage. So people quite often publish a working paper first that is more work in progress and then discuss this paper with their colleagues and so forth and then turn that into a journal article or maybe even a book. <music>